Hello. And welcome. I know, we promised you would be over. But these fights are complicated. I got a lot of people learning a lot of rules and I forget all of them. But welcome back to Dice Before Dishonor. No, wait, 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 wait. Damn it. That's not the banner. You came for start. No, you didn't come for that either. Hang on. Hang on. It's here somewhere. I'm pretty sure that we're playing the man from Assyria. No, you know what? I'm just going to leave that down. Video is just as fun for me as common right now. We are in round 10. We have cornered the murderer and her apprentice. I mean, what did he do? Was there any evidence that this murderer had like help? Anybody? No? I can smell the sin on him. It's fine. Okay. He's good to go. Well, this room is full of surprises and you guys have barely tapped any of them. We have quickly going around the room. We have Master Arif doing his cameo. You will see a lot of him in first edition as we release the man from Osirian. Not only auditioning in several Pathfinder society, but he may eventually stumble into our mommy's mass pod, which may come up sooner this year than later, but we shall see. Y y y yes, I I'm still relevant. We have Arles the Paladin of Emode, played by Ryan Messina. Don't sin, and you have nothing to fear. Maricel, the iconic elven rogue. I hear she's dating the cleric. At least that's what the comic books tell me. Played by Matt Witt. Well, I say, fresher. Kane, of his own devise. Ain Willems, always a pleasure. Everyone thinks I don't like him. I, I wouldn't put him in most of my shows if I didn't like him. Well, he's useful anyway. Playing the sorcerer. Yeah. I, I like blowing <laughs> stuff up. That's about it. You have a lot more to say in the intros and Cleanse Core Classics, I see that. I'm trying to edge these guys into that, but it's not working. Squee, played by my old buddy Joe. Good buddy. Boy, that sounded like it came from somewhere else. No, the guy's man, his name is Joe. He rolls ones and he is a friend of mine. I'm really not trying to rip off another podcast. It just kind of comes up. There's things in common. I can't help it. Maybe that's why I like them. Because they're like me. Yes, they're like me. That's why. I'm not obsessed. Squee, the goblin, the warrior. Yes, man meat, give me a toe. <laughs> Abdima Abdima played by Jay Tamlin pretty sure my daughter knows her him I was going to say I'm pretty sure that uh, that, that Mr. Tamlin fellow is a man my bad well he's anyways, also my name is Abdima <laughs> he's also a blacksmith who pulls out his card in combat and like hands it here <laughs> come to my shop if you survive this combat we have learning at my feet the amateur boy i'm not a professional at this i don't know why this guy reached out to me but hey a free intern's a free intern jared mercer is in the house tonight sorry we're out of coffee it's okay it's virtual coffee you're miles away you can't get it to me it's why it's always cold True. also a new cast member that's always a delight to have in our lobby and hanging out for the odd cameo voice as long as somebody else doesn't steal it and you'll see her appearing in the auditions as well as sprinkled around all of our podcasts especially the man from the syrian series miss Ashley Pasquello. Pascarello. You're never going to get that right. Pascarello. It's not common. Pascarello. It's not common and it's not fun. Gentlemen and lady and ladies that want to be gentlemen and gentlemen that want to be ladies. Round 10. Now it's my belief after many, 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 many years of DMing that if you can cap a combat in five rounds, you're doing all right. If players can beat the crap out of your monsters in three, maybe they're overpowered, maybe the the venture wasn't written probably maybe you're not doing your job and you forgot some powers five is decent four to six not bad if they can get to 10 they'll be like whoo this is taking a long time it was a hard fight if we get to round 11 they're losing i don't care how well they're doing if they get to 11 rounds it's taking too long they're not coordinated something's going on and we are round 10 starting with kane abdima get ready you're on deck what do you do kane uh, so first off, we've actually been in two consecutive combats because the first combat hasn't ended because it was like five rounds for the stone golems and then uh, now we're in this combat, but it's still the same turn order. But anywho, uh, as Kane, I'm going to move uh, 60 feet um, along the window's edge and run up to this bush, tree, not sure what it is. Okay. Cover. Can I have a basic acrobatics check as you just kind of slit the sill there? Pretty easy stuff, but you know what? Those natural ones could always make you fall fa face first in the fire, and I do like hijinks. Of course, Jeff. Of course. 
Whatever makes you happy. Uh, 21. Nailed it. I mean, you nailed that fire meat face so hard. No, just kidding. Awesome. Good work, sir. Sorry, did you say you took a double move? Are we, you're well on your way then? Yep. That's all I can do. Awesome. All right. Abdima, you are up, sir. Maricel, you're on deck. Abdima? Uh, Now, I would like to take the time to ask our rules lawyer how one goes about trying to dispel a spell. Which dispel spell are you attempting? Is it your Uh, class ability or is it the actual spell? Like, I'm trying to... I was wondering if there was a way to, like, use a skill of some sort to attempt to dispel um to attempt to um dispel an ongoing spell effect there is that's why i'm asking it it are you planning on using your does your class give you a dispel feature or are you using a prepared spell dispel um I was not aware whether or not a wizard had one of those things, so I'm going to say no because I don't have that in my character sheet. Okay. Uh, so there's no way to like one just of expend the wizard's and... class feats is a dispel action that they can Ah, get. okay, yes. No, I didn't so take that. So you burn... Basically, it's what I did with the uh, Nagasi. She had fireball prepared, so she used a fireball to negate someone else's fireball. That's kind of how Dispel yeah. works. I figured. I think um, last game, I think we were talking about someone using a Dispel and sacrificing a spell level of the equal spot slot to try to do it. I don't know if we were talking about Nagasi at the time, though, but no, uh, that's okay. Uh, in that case, how thin is this area here? Or is that like right up against the fireball? Can I have a perception check, please? And burn a, mo- burn a move action, yes, Jared? Yes. Perception of 12? You just saw Kane do what you're asking to do. Successfully. It looked like he used a little bit of acrobatics and pulled up his robes. Very lovely ankles. But he is charismatic. But yeah. Okay. Um, then I'm going to try to direct my horse to do exactly that. Oh, the horsey. Well, luckily, yeah. I know a horse is large, but he's sort of like two long and one wide, so he's not exactly like four square large. So, sure. I, I believe a riding check. There now, is no such thing. There is it's, no such uh, thing. It's a hand, handle animal skill check. A crazy one, because if he doesn't have Cinder Brave, of course, we keep deferring to first now, edition. At one point in time. There's some complicated stuff. Well, he's looking that up. Marisil, tell us all about your on-deckness and what you'd like to do. Okay, well, Mariseal is going to um, move a whole bunch. Um, these palm trees here, are they like actual trees or are they bushes? Like, could I move through them? Right um, one second here. Let me just uh, get to you. Go again? Pick again? Yeah, right there. They're considered difficult terrain, so I believe that Maybe not a perception check because I was trying to get a demon to like, you know, be aware of something else going on while there was a fire. Um, you know they're difficult terrain and you can move through them, but it is pretty tight. Okay. So then I'm not going to. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're going to move twice. First movement to here. Second movement, one, two, three, four, five, six, to here. And I will draw my sap and my rapier. Okay, don't move. You're not up. I just want to know what you wanted to do. Okay. Go ahead. That's fine. Okay, so are you proficient with handle animal would be my first question. Or nature, I should say. Nature is is the actual skill. 
I am currently untrained with knowledge nature. Okay, so you would take a minus four, but you could still technically do it. So it's two actions. You first have to make a handle animal check against, um, I would say it would be a medium challenge. Abdima, why did you use Squee for your perception check? Uh, because I had the wrong partic- the wrong sheet up. Sorry, it was an 11, not a 12. That's what you get for muddling. Put the goblin, hey goblin, come here. <laughs> he just pops up. Tell me what you see. Okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> like, I'm looking at the board and I'm like, Everybody it even says Abdema, but it's like perception. Yeah, well, Squee! Does that mean he's yeah, happy well, you got it involved? Just wait till Squee actually gets to do things again. Oh, that, that's what you get for asking to see other people's sheets. That's funny. Prepare to be an actual fighter, Joe. Oh! <laughs> Where was this argument like in episode one? Oh, yeah. I didn't know his character stats last time. No, that's right. You weren't in episode one. You're auxiliary cast. Be nice. Moving on. <laughs> He's just mad. So his horse, he won't go. Yes. So it's two rolls. Um, I I would say a... Do you do you norm? I would say you're going to want to aim for something higher than a 15 on your handle animal. Okay. Check. If it makes any difference, it like the spell that con- conjured my horse doesn't say that it's like untrained or anything. No, but you're not trained. Yeah, yeah. It's. it's I summon a Camaro. Do you know how to drive? I just meant like if that's like a skittish horse versus a like a trained horse kind of thing. Uh, I'm willing to dump the whole Cinder Brave thing just to get on with this, but it is. It does not. Magic does not magically give you chance to use this. It would specifically say, you know, proficient in the magical weapon that's a cop. You know copped up okay. out of nowhere so uh, i'm first... going to say the mag the, the firewall seems to keep your magic horse from um wanting to get any closer with that check it's it's not thrown you off but it is definitely looking at you going what you you want me to do what now okay well that was a 12 yes so that was one of my actions i could try again could i not jared yes you can jared you could yes can I my chair back please Certainly. You're asked to look shit up, not not play through. <laughs> I'm not a golf course buddy. No, he's doing a good, you gotta admit, he's doing a good job and he is testing the waters. I mean, that is why we brought him on board. Let him run with it. That's a 17. But he doesn't lie. Although hesitant at first, I'll let you do, you know, one movement with the horsey, convincing it. Okay, that's one movement. So, mm-hmm. um, horse gets... Marisol, if you want to go ahead, his actions don't really affect yours. You've already stated what you did, so if you want to move on. Marisol. Bueller. Bueller. Marisol is frozen in panic. Arles, what do you want to do? Um, I'd like to walk up and stab a sinner. Okay. I'd say bit, but that would cost me a sin, and then I'd have to stab myself. Okay. So I move forward. Yes. And the I swing twice. Mightily so. Mighty swing? Mighty, we could even say. And I'm um, sorry, I'm clicking the buttons that normally make me attack, but it does not seem to make me attack at this moment. Can you give us a raw roll? Um, what? I don't know my modifiers, that's why I threw his all stuff in here. Okay, while well, he's um trying to remember how to use his sword, Arif, you're on deck. What do you wish to do? Okay, um, well, seeing all the other guys kind of peel through a window, that's what Arif is going to try to do. And move up to the window, and I think I heard acrobatics as a key to like maybe get through. And if that is correct, let's give me a quick acrobatics raw roll of 15. Now, does this work the same way, Jarrett, with the CMD? Or Basically. It, does it go against the um, character? Like, I know characters have their own DC now, and I believe that's what you have to hit. Based off of their level, correct. Yeah depending on whether or not you consider this a 
easy, medium, or hard challenge for that particular. Well, they just have to get, like, the character has a level. It's like 10 plus their level, plus the modifier concerned. So where do we have Arif? Arif is, uh, oh, right, sorry. He's in the backdrop here, right? Correct. Okay. Um, just in front of, yeah. Yeah, so you're, sorry, I thought you were tumbling towards the character itself. You're talking towards the spell or whatever. So 15 worked for um, for the sorcerer. He's just pretty spry for an old guy. Where it works for me. Off, he, go, off he goes. Okay. Yep, so I uh, kind of edge my way past the uh, wall of fire and then move into the open grassy area there just to kind of okay. get a look as what's going on. You will when we get to you. I won't make you back up because you're not kind of in the combat, but begging you back to Arl, swinging his sword. Maricel Aha. has been moved and gratis. Swing, 15. Thank you. And who are you swinging upon? Um, the main Nagasi. 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 And so he's not tempted to take my chair once again. He has the rule book. He has the NPC. I call upon Mr. Mercer, the intern. Does that hit your armor class, Nagasi? She agilely ducks under both swings. I'll take that as a no. Sorry. <laughs> how many uh, how many swishes you got in there? Uh, move, and that, that was it. Just two swishes. And as a free action, repent for your sins now. Atone for the crimes you've committed. So you got a 15 and a 14 both miss. Yeah, that's right. Arif makes his move. And bringing up our... Lucky track counter. Marisol's already in position. Brings us to Squee. Yes. Move and swing. Swing by the bada. Ooh, does a 22 hit? Nagasi. Switch. That is a 26. Oh, oh, sorry. Is it a 26? Thank you for my math. <laughs> <laughs> Not only is he in your character, he's in your head, too. Cool. Try using the dice roller I programmed in for you there. Uh, that's all good. And just a quick question. Are you attacking the apprentice or Nagasti? I'm attacking the one that's in front of The me. apprentice. More looking at the board and less looking at each other's sheets. He's You're attacking fired. the apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming uh, this hits. Uh, yes, guessing. that definitely hits. And oh. damage. Go squee. Yeah. Go do. Go squee. <laughs> Go do. Feel the pain. That's a d6. It's a d4. It's a pick. A pick is a d6. Pick is a d4. Wielded and by a small creature. <laughs> it doesn't. As far as I know, there's no damage changes by size. That's what he rolled. That's what we're going with. Six right. points. It doesn't magically grow in his hand. That, so, yeah, but so, no and right. Nagasi. Evil woman. I'd like to take this moment to apologize to our listeners. It's a bit of a bonus project. Obviously, none of us are prepared. And at this point, practically even willing. Mr. Mercer, put the coffee down. Nagasi, you're yes. up. What do you yeah, do? I was trying to adjust the health on said apprentice. Yeah, I was just like rudely buying time for you. What's up? What do you got? Nagasi's going to use one of her movements to slide diagonally backwards. And... She is going to shoot Arles with an attack from her staff. Acid arrow. Which is... Will that hit you as a touch attack? Or Only because I feel sorry for you, sinning fool. 
Why would I give up sinning when it's so much fun? <gasps> she <There's> speaks. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Go ahead. Your line. Oh, or did she okay. kick? You, did she kick you in the teeth? And now you're spitting out blood. What was that? Well, I'm waiting to see her. <laughs> Ten damage going on persistently for one d six rounds. <clears throat> The Patty Walkers reeked with damnation. Have you no concern for your soul? Not especially. Apprentice, you're up. Do you have anything to say to defend your mistress? Better not take your eyes off that goblin. You might miss a toe. Apprentice. Stinky little thing. Ah! Burning hands. Reflex for half or full damage. So, you know, Joe, they say that mimicry is the highest form of flattery, and him altering his voice to sound like you, I would take it as a compliment. And make a saving throw, please. Natural one on a virtual neon green. I'm conflicted at what I'm seeing here. <laughs> Natural one. Natural one. Thank you, Joe. No problem. <sighs> Staying true to form. Yep. That does something special. It does something special. <laughs> I know. It's called a critical fumble. <laughs> now, is there anything before I take the reins and, you know, have the handle dislodge from the head and have the pick go flying off backwards several feet and probably like clock an old guy who's running up trying to be relevant? Is there anything specifically in the spell that happens yes. extra? Oh, let's have it. Can't wait. Critical failure. The creature takes double damage. <laughs> okay. It's and the damage is 2d6. Nice. Makes sense. It's, it's kind of like critting with the spell, only like he crit for you. It's actually 3d6. Oh, did they increase it? Yep. They increased burning hands. Ooh. Oh, and I think acid arrow was supposed to be more. My bad. Also, I think uh, magic, you're supposed to just double the number. You don't double the dice. I think that's that's for all crits. I think we determined that last session. I, I'm pretty sure there was a th thing that said, like, some of them you double the dice, some you double the number, but... Well, we can just take the first three numbers. So four is now eight, one is now two, and three is now six, making 16 six. instead of 17. He saved mm -hmm. you a point of damage. 16's fine with me. Squee, take 16. How you doing there, buddy? I'll take 14. I have fire resistance. Oh, there you go. Majestic. 14. <laughs> he just likes sitting by the fire, his feet actually inside yeah, the in flames. Fire, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice round. Round 11. I proclaim that this has gone on too long. Kane, come on, buddy. Bring All it right, to the wind. Uh, question What is this directly in front of me? An arrow? Your health bar? <laughs> no, like a it, tree. Okay, it's a tree. Yeah. Got it. All right, so I have to path around it. That's fine. Prob probably, 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 yeah. Okay. Funny that well, I'll mark it on my map as difficult terrain, but I'm assuming if you if you move forward, I do get to face face plant you into a bark. So that yeah, could be fun. Well, I'm gonna stop that. Um, Minus right, two so. to charisma for us. No. Okay. All right. So, uh, twenty five feet up, left of the tree, then straight forward. Yep. Okay. Good line of sight on these two, and fireball going out. All right. Um. Hold on to your yeah. toe, Squee. Here comes another one. Oh no! No, I'm 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 making it so that it does not hit friendlies. I'm not extending the range on this one, so it is just twenty feet. So okay, can you give me a corner as opposed to a center? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. A good thing I didn't put that away because now I can take my gym layer, make a token layer, and go kaboom. Poof. Funny, like everyone expects a giant explosion, but technically fireballs don't have pressure. They just blossom into flame. 
scorching everything. And as they say in the books, unless second edition took that joy away from us, they dissipate instantaneously. Now they can set things on fire again, I'm assuming, unless our rules lawyer suddenly says they've changed fire. That, <laughs> that this thing instant. This, this, this is second edition, oh, Jeff. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. That fa boom and it's gone and we're done. Put your arrow away, sorcerer. We know what happened. <laughs> All right. No, no, uh, no. Re reflex save uh, or they take 29 points of damage. Okay. Uh, DC is 19. All right. I would like Jared to tell our voice asterisk, uh, voice asterisk, voice acting Ashley the bonus and have her role while Jared can handle the apprentice. So some of us can feel a little bit more into the game, shall we say? He has a plus 12 to reflex. There you go. Rack him up, Ashley. And you roll for the apprentice. Actually, his apprentice does not look like he's caught in the blast. Neither does Nagasi at all. I would have positioned it so that they get hit by the edge. Fair enough. You pick the back corner. I'll give you the front corner. You also tighten that up enough. I can see that by one clip, you just barely miss squee. Yeah. Nagasi gets a 19. Ooh, that hits the DC, does it not? It does. It does. Now, is this one of those... Is this one of those, I have to go over the DC, or the DC is nailed and you're good? I believe it's like AC, right? DC? Yeah, DC's nailed and you're good. No? Yeah. AC, DC, no one? AC, DC. Uh, I, I got uh, it. Uh, fine. Uh, I was reading up on spell. Yeah. All right, let, let me make up for that terrible... Yeah, Jeff, two such a great reference. Oh, no, Jeff, thank you. Honestly, truly, I do yeah. appreciate the reference. Oh, ACDC oh. is a I'll do you one, one better. I've been talking to this guy from Germany that does cover tunes, and they do it in that old vaudeville piano violin um, somewhere between Fallout and Steampunk style, and they do ACDC Highway to Hell and everything. And I've asked permission to use those tracks for the possibility, not guarantee, I'm just saying, there's a good possibility. We're gonna start exploring Pathfinder's Pure Steam, the Steampunk game, fairly soon. Watch for that in up and coming months. But getting back to the game at hand. Nice roll, Ashley. I don't think Jared could have done better. Actually, I know he wouldn't have done better. He would have fried my murderer. That's why I'm giving her to you. You do all the rolls from now on. Jared will quote the numbers. She pulls through miraculously with only half damage. So instead of 29, rounding down, you take 14. 14. Well, we'll have you take 14. Um, and moving on to... Who's up? Oh, did you say the uh, the little guy just ate it? Jared ate it. Jared, Jared's apprentice. Okay. Now, is this the first hit on her since we started playing this session? Like, this is the first on Nagasi. This is like the first decent strike, yeah? No one's got... Oh, Nagasi has yes. taken damage. She did? She took damage in the prior game. Not today. No, no, but I just mean today. like right now, because I, I don't know if right you've now. changed her health bar, but I just did, and I wasn't tracking, so just making sure. So she's dropped 14, and our little apprentice also takes 29. He's hurting bad. Now, with their reflex... Is there something in second edition about like catching fire? Or does it have to be a continuous fire effect? Like something like that little rolling ball of... It has to state. Yeah, like an instantaneous just kind of goes... It, in the description, it does not state anything about catching fire, even on a critical failure. Okay. On the reflex, so... Well, this little guy does not look good. I'm not even going to call for those health checks that everybody hated in the past to tell that this guy is not looking very good shape. Kane, nicely done, sir. Fireball never gets old. 30 years of playing and more never gets old. Abdima. It's a, it's a classic. It's a classic. Abdima, you're up. Maricel, you are on deck. I am. Well, um, since I am now clear of the flame, I will take my move actions with my mount and end up... Oops, I'm on the wrong thing. <laughs> Here we go. Brought your horse over for you. Sorry. Galloping, can you ping where you're going to go here? Where we got going? Working on it. Let's let's pull up for a wide shot here. Here we go. Right there. Oh, very nice. All right. Pulling up within sight. Dun, 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 dun. Bring the horse. There we go. Now there. the horse has 40 feet move, so that was two moves. Do I get a third action? Yeah, because you kind of go go horsey. It's one action. 
go horsey again, second chevron, because you're guiding okay. the horse. Oh, would the horse go? No, I don't think so. I think so. I don't think yeah, you're restricted by a mount's lack horse of... Horse cast fireball. Because <laughs> you would still be allowed an attack, right? Yeah. That's a very good question. Uh, Jared, do you got anything on this? I was also going to suggest that um, he would be also allowed, since he is now close enough, to make a perception check on the things in the fountain. But that would other... wouldn't that burn a move action? Wouldn't that burn a? No, it actually states it in the little rules for the Archlord Envy. Fine, fine. I was going to leave them a surprise or leave them out altogether, but I guess I suppose if somebody gets too close, which you are now getting too close. Abdima, oh, you have no idea what you've done, what you've brought upon this party. They'll blame you. Perception check, please, Jay. Sure. Perception of 24. The water's moving by itself. It actually undulates and forms and begins to rise up as if it's looking back at you. A little wave, a serpentine-looking appendage, a tendril, pure water in form. But whatever it is, it's swaying, it's moving, not like water, and it seems to be regarding you. And you're done! Maricel? No, that's a freebie. What do you want to do with your last action? <laughs> uh, noting that, I was going to do something to help with this combat for now, but I'm going to instead direct my mount a little bit over this way. <laughs> moving away from the fountain. Don't tell Kane. That's run okay. <laughs> you don't have to run fast. He's got to run faster than Kane, even though he's on a horse. All right. And you're done, sir. That's it. Yes. That Maricel, you are up. Arles, get ready. You're on deck. Maricel. Woohoo. Maricel is going to move. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two. How do you get the arrow to pop up? I can never remember. They've changed this on roll 20. Oh, I might be able to do it now. I'm using the mouse. So this, I, I might be able to. What, what was the button for that? You. Q. So I was here. Do you want me to do the whole action? Uh, sure. I was just asking what the new buttons were, but yeah, that, that works for me. Why not? You're here. It's a party. One movement. Two movement. And the swing beta beta for the apprentice. All right. With my rapier, D20 bullets. Roll, come Lovely. on, big buddy. 24. Battle hit. Woohoo. Uh, where am I? 2D6 plus four. Lovely. That looks better. I think like playing around with the video mid game. For 10 damage. Against? The Apprentice. No, no, no. Let's talk about dropping below zero hit points. Let's talk about dropping to negative three, just so we all learn, Jared. Technically, they'd have to make a, um, uh, the players would, if they were a player, they would make a concentration check to stay alive or fortitude, really, I guess. I have a name you know. I'm not just a TV show, The Apprentice. Yes, yes. Um, so, uh, but as a, a monster, that's up to you. Do you want it to linger or do you want it to completely drop dead? Uh, it's not going to completely drop dead. I think it's going to fall over like a person would. It's a real person. He went to school. He has dreams and aspirations. Hmm. All right, I'll tell you what. We'll say luck be a lady tonight. Matt, black or red, it is time for the, you guessed it, the paper, scissor, rock, lizard, Spock dice. Once again. So do I have to call one? Red or black? Black. Paper on paper. Well, that does nothing. I don't think they really thought these dice through. Spock and lizard. I don't think you're going to win this one. I think Lizard Poison Spark. Sorry, old chum. I am a person. I want to linger. Jared, make the rolls. Arles? Oh, sorry. Marisol, do you have any actions left? 
Nope. Okay. I am done. Arles, you're up. Well, Jared ponders his now lingering fate in playing the roles, please, sir. Arles, you're up. What do you do? Arif, you're on deck. Get ready, sir. Do not think that you can flee your sins. As I take a five-foot step, even though they don't exist in this universe. A uh, guarded step does. Eh, I'm not doing that. This is totally unguarded. <laughs> it's the opposite of guarding. It's actually attacking. Oh, As no. I... The paladins being difficult. Like, some things just never get old, right? All right. Fine, either way. Attack one. Of attack of 20. Dun, 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 dun. This is... An attack of 24. That... <laughs> he's, gotta, he's gotta think about it for a minute there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, psh, doesn't hit. Yeah, that one hits. Oh no. 15 slashing. All right. It's never <sighs> the bent. I don't flee from anything, let alone sins. <laughs> well said. I think we're going to have you voicing fair, <laughs> lots of feisty female characters in my NPZ future, yes. Excellent. Anyway, moving on. Ouch. And noted. And Arl's got anything left? No, no, that's that's the full juice. There's nothing left from the jam jar. All right. Arif. Master Arif. Old man Arif. You have so many names and so many games. What do you do, sir? In his bid to be relevant, he'll move up there and noticing that there's some bubbling and churning in the water that looks like it might be dangerous, casts a spiritual weapon and directs it towards that oh. potential creature. Oh. Very nice. Uh, AC 21 to hit a creature. I'm sorry, did you say potential notice, potential, potential? Potential. Right, so you're telling me, um, calling on Jared's freebie, you've made the perception check, is that what I'm hearing? Uh sure please <laughs> and do we have the totally negative made it. do we have the negative one for every 10 feet away jared it's actually like negative four, oh. they do everything four it, is it now. is it trying to hide or is it just like out there hey guys what's up it's actually just kind of lounging water and water he got very close within 10 feet so hence the freebie check you're like 20 odd more on diagonals. They have diagonals still in this? Man, it's been so long. Yeah, I don't yes. think so. They do, yeah. All right, yes. where's, where's like perception? Five, 15, Where is 20. perception? Right there, trained, nine. Yeah. Okay. All right, then I'll take that as my uh, the di my original roll, so 21 perception. Mm -hmm. Does that see a dangerous thing? You Lounging. see something moving the water. Now, I'll give it to you because you're not from like some arctic place like some weird elf and have you know we're looking at ice creatures you know of you are from kalashite you are of the land of the genies there isn't an elemental source a fireplace a water that you as children are not told look twice don't play nice all right then i will cast my spell uh 16 on one attack this round does that hit these little buggers? Yeah. Mr. Mercer. Against the water elementals? Yeah. Yep. If that's your if that's their real name. If that's what it is. Yeah, okay. Um Yeah, that no, that will not hit. Okay. A weapon of force swipes out at it and does not do five points of damage. Oh dear. But now it knows you're there. <laughs> now it's looking at me. Poked the bear. That's right. Poked the water. About the, Abdino knew better. He's also from the lands of the, you know, <clears throat> deserts. And he's like, right away, horsey, move us. All right. Any other actions, Mr. Arif? Perception for free, casting for free, oh, for one, moving for one. Uh, I think you get one left in your jar of jam. Uh, as the it's a, That's a two chevron spell. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for your toe collection. Squee. Yes. Yes, sir. I will just... Uh... So, Jared, getting back to the Where? role of the apprentice before Squee decides to move on. So, because well. it is a considered a monster or an encounter for the players, 
its DC is considered difficult to recover from a death effect. Okay. So because it is a counter three, it would need to roll a 18 or, or DC, it's a, like a DC 18 with either a strength or dexterity check um, based on its... Not a con check? No. Hmm. Okay, make said roll. Make it so. Or Squee's going to like not step over you and finish him. There, what do we got for coup de gras on this? Squee? Step over, go to the other one anyways. No, okay. So he's bleeding out. Nice. It is impossible to find good help these days. I knew that line was coming. I couldn't have fed you that line in butter. She just said it. So good. That's good. All right. Squee. Swing. Does a 14 hit? Against Agassi? I don't think so. What else have we got? Another one? Yep. Does a 22. No, I don't think so. I don't no, think so. This is not plus, like, your, your, your bonus is higher than that. Check your character sheet. Yeah. Yeah, well, for your second attack, it's minus five. For your third attack, it's Yeah, but 10. your base bonus is higher. It's eight. It should be ten. Because? Three main attack. Uh, because the numbers work out differently. Um, Hold on, I will pull it up. I'll Speed. give it to you. Because that actually is literally two, which would just hit. So for the sake of lucky toes, I'll give it to him. You hit Squee. Damage of your choice. <laughs> it seems, seems like it's my choice. Is it my character anymore? No amount of texting personally to him has made him back off. So now I'm just going to go with it. Two. Plus. Wait for it. Four. Four. Is <laughs> six. All right. Another six. Megasi. This little green goblin appears out of nowhere, steps over your guy, who you thought would at least make it to next week and the next party. Now you have no date. And just starts hammering away at your, no, your toes? Well, he's kind of down there. And you take six points of damage. And it's your go, Nagasi. I want to know, Ashley, what she has to say about it. And I want to know, Jarrett, what she does about it. In that order. Get away from me, you hideous little thing. Ugh, it's so gross. Nagasi is going to do something really fun and turn into an eagle. And oh. then attack whoever where's, has done that. Where's my again. eagle screech sound bite that we overused? Ah, ah. <laughs> we used to have this great one. Ja-ka. Yeah, no. <laughs> Who who cock-cawed in my podcast? Damn you. All right. Um, Okay, so she's bailing? No, this is just her next phase of combat. Oh, we're whittling her down. That sounds good to me. That does sound promising. It's very interesting when you have to ask the bad guys what to do, as opposed to it's kind of like hands off DMing. It's kind of interesting. I'm I actually am enjoying this. Nagasi turns into some sort of predatory bird and flies away, drawing attacks of opportunity, possibly. Only if they've got it. Ah, that's right. But I think a warrior does. And um, Nagasi's going to get temporary hit points. Okay. Uh, you don't have to call that out, by the way. Uh, well, I need to tell him. No, it's fine. You know what? At, like at this point, like this is actually a one-shot learning curve. I mean, you know, Fair. if if we were doing this legit, then yeah, there's so much wrong with what we're doing yeah, at this point. It's like, totally. why don't we just salvage this by teaching ourselves and maybe the audience? You know, I've already apologized twice in this podcast, and when do I ever apologize for anything? So, what is she casting? Dude, all the time. Aerial Canadian. form. It's aerial good. form. This okay. Spell's actually called aerial form. And that and automatically gives her hit points. It gives her hit points, gives her a bonus to AC, gives her a flight speed, gives her a natural claw attack. Okay, so what do we got for hit points? And you know what? The guys get to make spellcraft checks and go, oh, look, she's casting this. You know. If they've got, if they want to burn the usage. Oh, really? Okay. Well, yeah, because it's an active ability. So basically. just give me the hit points then. Uh, it's 15. Oh, wow. Awesome. I have the passive uh, magic sight thing. Magic sight thing? Uh, the, feed, magic. 
Yeah, the, the detect magic that you have, although it's not third, it's still only the first level one. Well, we'll say you have an inkling of what's going on, makes it relevant for us spewing our gut. So if a demon wants to sort of vaguely pass that on, I will not call you on meta. So Nagasi, you turn into a bird, you take to the air, you soak up some hit points, drawing this combat out even further. Is that all you got? She's going to dive bomb Arles. He seems to be the one that might. <laughs> you're going to poop on the paladin? Please tell me you're going to properly poop on this paladin. <laughs> totally poop on the paladin. Acid poop, by the way. It's acid poop. Oh, wow. What have you been eating this party? Guys, don't eat the wrapped bacon things that Matt was on about earlier. They, they come back and haunt you. She's clearly infatuated <laughs> with the light. <laughs> infatuated with the light. She looks like she's trying to put out the light, at least cover it up with a little white paste. Maybe some My fog wine. Is for her or is Mr. Mercer? Um, yeah, actually. I'll tell I... you what to roll if you want to roll it. Yeah, I'll tell you what, if you just give us the raw roll, Ashley, he'll add to it and let us know what's going on. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It is. Matt, a... uh, Ryan will get up so upset if a lady rolls and poops on him. So I'm... <laughs> eh. Plus 13. What did you get? 29. Oh, <laughs> right between the eyes, you mode. Right no, that, between... that, that's right in the face guard. You know how they put yeah, that white kind of sword cross and on certain, you know, emote this and yeah, there you go. She paints you up, man. That's awesome. You see a sword, I see a bullseye. Oh, that's nasty. But yeah. seriously, for damage and assets, um, all fun aside, because this is a serious, serious game. This is, ne this is never supposed to be fun. This is slashing damage if it matters. Well, acid poop slashes him? What? Yes. How? What? Really? Poor no. bird. I feel sorry <laughs> for the bird. I had all these splatter jokes for someone to drop that term lined up. Splash? No? Slash? I, I'm completely caught off guard. I don't know what to say about this now. Splash. This game makes no sense. I know, kidding. August. Right, Paizo. Paizo. August. You know what I'm saying? What? I what? know. You don't even. Ugh. It's okay, man. That's why we, that's why we rented you. Because <laughs> we got lost early on. So so. I, I'm sorry. How many sl how many slashing poop damage did I take? <laughs> acid 21. poop. Twenty one. Slashing acid poop. Oh, slashing twenty one slash poop. She's calling out the move, but all you hear is caca. So unless you you know are trained as a rider and speak bird or common or something, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Round twelve. Please take that damage, Arles, because I just don't want to touch your mini. It's covered in poop. Um, <laughs> Really, Aiden? Wars. Nothing. I, I figured Aiden would be rolling around because we tortured him in the sewer in Star Wars with that whole poop thing, and it's like, no. Yeah. He sympathizes. Okay, fine. Round no. twelve. <laughs> Kane, nah, you're up. He's into it. Yeah, no kidding. Kane, you're <laughs> up. Abdima, you're on deck. All right, Kane. I'll move to the opposite side. Can I see through these bushes? They're difficult terrain. They're difficult terrain, but they're actually like only like waist high. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, and then I'm going to cast. A heightened Grim Tendrils. Which will do uh, 5d4 plus 900. 2 bleed damage. So, or 2 persistent bleed damage. Looks good to me. Sounds good. Sounds like uh, 17. Nice roll on the damage, dude. Oh, uh, save DC 19. And it's negative damage, if that matters. How much air did you catch there, Jared? How far up the ground did she get? Was she just like right there in his face? She didn't if she dive bombed. She didn't move, so she's technically, yeah, face level. <laughs> okay. Actually, I like that. It's kind of funny. All right. I just, um, I just, what am I, what is the, is it reflex will? Uh, Fortitude. Fortitude DC 19? Yep. That's a toughie. Ooh. 22. Pain. Gators okay. for half. Uh, yeah, takes half and no bleed. What did you turn her into? A hawk? Yeah. Eagle. An eagle, okay. Now, can I have a little bit of a intelligence check from Arles, Maricel, 
and Squee. Just a little flash of insight. If you were ever in doubt, if you were in doubt yeah. at all, I mean, maybe this woman is just, you know, pissy. And 14. wrong place at wrong time. 20. Not natural. Gone is Nagasi. Enter the bird. 11. No connection, Squee. But the rest of you guys, I'd have to say that there were claw marks on that golem. Talon marks. And now this chick is a big bird. Coincidence? Hmm. Mercil, pipe up. Well, it seems we found where those talon marks came from. Bad guy panics and suddenly reveals a little bit more evidence. Classic, classic cop show, I'm telling you. Aha. <laughs> Says the paladin. <laughs> I thought it was more like, he's doing one of these, here you go, just for video, he's like, aha. <laughs> now I see. Now I see. Well, actually, I can't see through all the acid poop, but I, yeah, I should give you I a penalty. I was blind, and now I, I see. see. Yeah. The slashing acid poop, Jeff. It burned his faceplate off, and now he can see. See how that goes? Um, yeah. Kane, have you got anything else for us, buddy? Uh, nope. That was all three actions. All right. Abdima. For the win. Abdima being up, and I feel like I do have to say this. I am on a horse, so I'm sure I can see this eagle. Sure. From here. So I am going to cast a heightened magic missile. Okay. With all three actions. Nice. Hey, Jeff. Yes, sir. You, can you transfer the health from what Nagasi was to what the eagle is now? I'm still covering it. She's just on the GM layer. Okay. Um, can you let me know when it drops below 25? Yes. Because that's when the next exchange of change happens. Yep. Thank you. Boss phase two. Now there's something you could have there's something you could have typed or text me, but you know <laughs> it's okay, it's still learning. Wait, wait, I need to do something. She's not at twenty percent. Or twenty full disclosure at this point. They just want the boss fight over with. No, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> you kidding me? If I want the boss fight over with, there would have been no statues, no water elementals, and then people would be like, We're on to you. So nope. the eagle is shot by six missile points that are basically made of air, dealing twenty three points of damage. Nice. God damn. No yeah. safe versus magic missile, is there? No. I, I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, say it, Adima. Holy Classic. <laughs> Classic Adima. Ba -ba -ba. All right. <laughs> so that hurt. Um, so much for my phantom hit points. But there you go. It's transferred. I'm an up and running eagle with with a health bar. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> I am. Not that you know what hit point you need to get me down to to flee, but at least you know, he hasn't yelled out my current hit points. Thank you, Mr. Mercer. Abdima, you got anything left? That was pretty cool, though. All three chevrons heightened, you say? Oh, yes. That was heightened with three, uh, with three actions. Heightened? He's high on a high horse? Like... He's setting himself up for the joke, and no oh, one's getting this. I was, I was, I'm saying I'm on a horse. Yeah, I, he's a heightened. Yeah, I got it. This, okay, well, thank, you. thank you. Yeah, the DM acknowledges the the humor, tongue in cheek, but I really got to spit it out because I don't think these guys. <sighs> Marisol. Technically, you're floating in air right now. Your horse. Marisol walks up to the yeah. bird and unloads. Minor details. Everything she got. So, first attack with the rapier. Hiya! Looks like the so horse 20, is like piggy 21. Here. 21? No. That's not a hit. Actually, okay. does AC change in my form? In it our goes form? up. We're a community of three people running one character. It goes up. Yeah. Oh, I'm in defense mode. Ha <laughs> ha. So that was a miss. Okay. And then second attack with the sap. 10. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You way miss. Anything else? Yeah, that was a move into attack. So yes. I'm going to critical fail, uh, critical fail, missed by I'm ten. Going to look directly into the eagle's eye and say, Kaka! 
Oh, it'll come and cock caw on you. Your next target. Don't get dicey with me. Um, You're going to get acid poop in the face next. I'm still running around this Just critical natural one, acid. critical fail by 10 or more, Jared. Failing by 10. 10 or more is still a critical fail. That's right. And my new armor class is like well over 24 and you rolled a 10. Yeah. So, so that's a, guess yeah. what? Guess what? You try to smack me with your sap and it goes flying out of your hand and you drop it. Sweet. I was about to drop it anyways. Ha ha. Joke's on you, motherfucker. It Sorry. drops on your foot and you take some dual damage. Oh. Right? <laughs> you are unconscious. Yep. Oh. Good for being a smart ass. What do we got here? <laughs> <laughs> damn it. One point. Damn, these dice are hard to read. They're fancy, ah! but they're damn hard to read. Okay. I am now what? down to 55 points of <laughs> That's right. Fear the Reaper. All right. Oh, you got me. Oh, you got any, You got yourself. Have you got anything left? That's it. Okay. Quit flailing about. Try to be a professional. Arles. Yeah. Picture a man who just wants to spread the word of a mode. And that's now me. that's an issue. And now it's come to all this. Lots happened to you like on this Thursday, as you put it. What do you want to do now? Um, okay, first I want to rub off some of the slashing poop. I feel that's important to my uh, goals. Yeah, did you say that was an ongoing thing? Yes. What was the last ongoing effect or was that the one? Acid. Anybody been tracking that? No. <laughs> I don't know that he ever rolled that d6 for how long it was going on for. Yeah, persistent damage continues until you either get rid of it or are healed from it. Right. Quick, jump, oh, jump in the water. Well, we are on round. No. We're rapidly approaching round 13, which means I owe him two rounds of damage if that's your target. So, how much uh, damage? One round. Oh, one round. Oh, did I it come have... in 11? Yeah. Okay, sorry. One round. So, Ashley, Easy sorry, Jared, us. please tell Ashley what to roll. So I can hurt people. Sounds it's good to me. It's a D8. Yeah, acid damage. Stop time, rewind. You're so brave, you didn't feel the pain, but you feel it now. No, I don't. Two points. It's sorrow that I feel more than anything else. I know, for this entire one shot, I'm, I'm feeling it too. But now that we're back to you and you take your two immediately little points. No, you I want to leave the term you went on for, for, for one D6 rounds. <laughs> What's what that? I thought, I thought he said the damage went on for 1d6 rounds, so shouldn't he have rolled a d6 to see how long the damage was going on for? We just covered I, that. He said it was persistent until... It, it's persistent. I, it's It was plus 6 to the original damage, and I said d6. Gotcha. So, okay. Right. So, Arles, what were we doing? Done. Um, we're going to remove some of the... What's right. happened. So does he need to take, like, a single chevron, like a single standard action to, like stop this from happening uh, uh he has to make a... i'm gonna use two chevrons to heal myself magically yeah that, but... that would kill it would it not if he's got the ability to do that yes he does yeah magic hands okay um yeah as eomede loves my hands and my hands love me only the way which you can do in public safely yep lay on <laughs> wiping for flavor i got gotcha. you i'm with you buddy Let's have, let's, let's have that roll. So just the nipples, then. He's, yeah, exactly. Right? Emote loves him, and he's loving himself. Let's have that roll. <laughs> and try to get past this as quickly as possible. Hey, at least no, no. Arif hasn't got behind you yet this game. <laughs> oh, Apparently, oh, Roll20 coming. wants me that's dead, coming. too. Yeah, he's coming. He's working his way around the head. He's man. on the way. <laughs> he's on the way. I'm coming, Sonny. Hell, you're from behind. So um, what kind of damage are we talking? Three points? I yeah, that's what I healed myself by. Okay, that should cut off the the consistent anyway. So that's its yeah. magical healing. Yeah. And yeah. I'm gonna use my last little hootit to uh, take a swing at this bird. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure I didn't know if, it was... if you, it's a two chevron deal for the healing, so you got a chevron to swing with, right? That's correct. Sorry, an action. Yes. I got so used to looking at that book. I looked at it, didn't really read it, but I did look at it. There's lots of chevrons, I can tell you that. All right. And I, I swipe at the air. 19. Uh, just just for sake of expediency, Jared, what is our new armor class so they can ooh and ah? 26. Nice. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Ah. 
I oohed and yeah, myself. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I think we will be seeing you next week, gentlemen, and the week after that, and the week after that. Nagasi the Eagle is going to rip through each party member and just move to the next town and continue her murder spree. Arles, are you done? Yeah, one yeah. poop at a time. What is it you say? Can we just quit? Can we just <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're so hard to hit, you win. Hey. What? You guys can retreat hey. and go back and apologize to a disappointed gnome how your career of the society ended earlier. You're only disgracing one of Paizo's iconic rogues. Sure. That's worth an email of disgrace. I was clearly defined in my faith before the Pathfinders. Well, you're not the bailing paladin. The, the rogue wants to cut one of loose. The secret stories of, of Master Arif's. I'm going you know, to gonna bury this podcast so deep no one will find it. <laughs> Arles, <laughs> are you done with actions? I think we're done. Arif! He's in there. He's already moved. He's already behind you. Damn it. Look out. It's coming right for him. Damn it. Coming All right, right Coming so right at him. Coming right at him. So move up to there and cast heal. Now you're giving me some splatter. Is that what we're saying? Okay. Yeah. Actual cannibal, Aris, uh, Aris the cleric. Yes. And then I'm also going to spend an additional chevron. Let me look this thing up right here. Healer's blessing. Spend a chevron to increase the amount of damage healed by ten points. So, add ten to that. Fifteen points of healing to Arles. There you go, Arles. Rack them, stack them. Uh, that was some good touching Master from behind. Harris. Quick question. <laughs> from Were you behind. the one who attacked the water elemental? I was. Okay, so the water elemental goes after your turn. Okay. I can do that. Where'd he go? Hmm. Pretty sure I had a water elemental hiding in the wings here. I seem to have, I seem to have misplaced my elemental. Don't you hate when that happens? I hate it when that happens. That's strange. Oh, there's one. I'll just put him over here. Wing. So tell me about myself. I want to attack. Probably whoever Arif. attacked you. Arif, yeah. Can I reach him from here? Do I leave uh, my little pond? I mean, I, I did read the adventure, but that was so long ago. That's why you're here, to cover those last two pages, which have taken more episodes than the first 30 <laughs> I read, but it's okay. Uh, yeah. Um, He can only move 10 feet once he's outside of the pool of water. Oh, he's going. He's oh. coming for the old man from behind. Dun it. Dun it. Oh, There's... you almost got me. <laughs> Five, ten. You guys seeing this? I'm small, though, right? I'm like one square, not two. You're a minor water elemental. I know. Can you guys see so, this? You see this creeping creature. up on you? Oh, dun, it's so dun. cute. I know. Isn't it, aren't I adorable? Oh, I want to put him in a bag of holding. <laughs> Take him home. Drink him later. Oh, you monster. All right. Um, so that's... A double move because I leave and then go boink, two moves and I'm here and a third action monsters get them I believe I'm going to strike the old man from behind do I get an attack of opportunity unless you do have the feats for it I do you do you are oh. on a horse I'm entering not leaving your attack range yeah but I would threaten this square here no you wouldn't on a horse I, you, I, I doesn't matter here. that mini is 10 feet away horse or no, you've placed your mini here. So you threaten the squares around you. You don't widen your threat range just because you're up high. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. So. Okay. I didn't know where I was where my face on my horse. Well, we can get rid of it. We'll just say you're on a horse. There. I'm on a horse. Motherfucker. Anyway. Um, <laughs> swing! <laughs> With my elemental. Oh, that's a horrible miss. I'm not even going to talk about that. No. Is it uh, a critical miss? No, nah, 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 it's an eight. Plus my elementalness of Jared. Yeah. <laughs> what, you think I actually have the book open in front of me? Yeah. I'm busy trying to run this pod, man. Can't do everything. Come on, Jared. I was reading up on the minor water elemental. What and my strike, my slam. Your slam. Ah, I get followed you. Followed by the thank you, ma'am. Slam, slam, bam. Gotcha. Uh, plus nine. Right. So that is a 17, which is close to Arif's, not enough for a critical. Doesn't hit him. Right, Arif? 
Right, Arif? Right, muted Arif? Muted Arif, AC 22. I was yeah, that's what I think, but it's not 10, so we're good. Doubting, Thomas. Anyway, so next we have Squee. And once again, swing at the bird. Squee. Help <laughs> us. 21. I know that misses. <laughs> <laughs> that number used to be such hey, a 21 used to be such a great number and i was like you got another action throw it out there buddy sure why not let's just go for it get in there man oh oh, oh. no i missed who had the little who had the little ball of fire was that the apprentice <laughs> yeah the okay. apprentice. okay sorry we'll get rid of that my bad somebody left it burning squee you were you were so instrumental. I mean, you fought colossal golems, didn't <laughs> let it phase you when your party did nothing to help you. Yeah. And like, did you get in that last attack with the apprentice? Was that you who got the kill strike on that sucker? I got the kill strike. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't. It wasn't you. It's getting no. the, I, I, everybody just takes my shells. Yeah, I know. And like the, the the food really wasn't that good. I mean, was you've had better? Well, sorry, I would sneak up, but it's pointless. But it's pointless. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> We're trying to give the rules an honest go here, peppered with humor to cover our frustration. Squee, all done, sir? Yes, all done. All right, Nagasi. Who hit her with the magic missile? That would be Abdima. That's who she's going to be attacking then. Okay. You can see him clearly. He's up on a horse. Right, so she's going to fly up and over everybody and dive down at him. Hello. I will take my attack of opportunity. Yeah, you will. Damn straight. <laughs> he jumps oh, up in the air. She's already face level. Get up there, squee. Climbing up the side of the paladin. You know, like hanging out with one hand like a pole and just come on. <laughs> oh, that's a one. What? Again? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking thing sucks. You have no <laughs> idea how funny it is for me personally to see a neon green roll ones and your name is Joe. Like, it's just, oh, you have no idea. The audience does. Some of you do. I know you do. Uh. <sighs> it's a certain podcast that we are fond of. I am. I am very fond. I've been asked to cut, stop, quit mentioning it, but they're, they're the best. I have to admit they are. I'm they only 63 episodes in, so. They're only the best because you're not arrogant enough, Jeff. I'm not arrogant <laughs> enough. <laughs> so. What am I rolling, Jared? Exactly. You are going to be rolling a gore attack. Joe had not much happened to you the last natural one. I was busy making so jokes. That means yes, that you you're were. going to roll three attacks. The first two are going to be at a plus 15. The second one is going to be at a plus 10. Um, I, here's an interesting holdover rule question. Does the bird have five foot reach? It does not. Because these so are it has to cross my space to enter my square. But do you have attack of opportunity? I do then you can use it if you want. I That's do indeed, action. because it's a very fun one. That yeah. is a 20, a 27, and a 22. And I get to roll attack for that twice. How many attack of opportunities do you get? It's still a magical sword at the moment. So that lets you roll twice? You're talking about like the damage? Oh, wait, no, sorry. Never mind. Um, that's I'm thinking of a different spell. No, that's, yeah, it's a 23 to hit. Which misses because my AC is 26. Yep. And gets in there on you with a 20, 27, and 22. Uh, the 27 hits. Okay. And what what kind of talon damage are we talking about? Or what were you doing? Eight. Eight. Like a D8? Yes. Three of those. Three D8 plus. What kind of freaking eagle is this? A, a nasty Bullshit one. Eight. A murderer. Three D8. It's like pack. And this massive damage. opens up. I'm sorry, Ashley. We were busy exploding. 16 damage. Ha! Ha! What? Eagles for the win. <laughs> I don't even follow. I don't even follow world. baseball. Or is that football? Great. Or is football soccer? Oh, yeah. So deep. So many countries. So if many we're in teams. the US, it's football and it's Eagles. I know. I know exactly what it is. Again. See, and I went right off the against my grandpa's I team. <laughs> no, no, no. Just... See, it went straight that's to the Nagasi's base. Turn. Eagles. It's, it comes up in a certain... Oh, that's a good choice, Matt. Never mind. Okay, Nagasi, you got anything left? 
No, that was her full action. That's awesome. Can someone try to intimidate the bird? We need to lower its AC. <laughs> well, Squee is owed two critical misses. So I've been waiting for something really, really good. You know, I wait oh, for somebody. No. To, I was waiting for someone to miss and just entangle his crit with yours. But I think now of all times, now of all times, that sucker not only goes flying after the bird, not only does he lose the head, or well, at least drop the weapon, but it doesn't drop at his feet. Owing a critical miss, he comes around and it leaves his hand and goes flying through the air in a nice little arc. And it follows the bird, which makes Arles, Arif, and Abdima all targets as it plummets out of the sky. All of you react as if it's going to fall in your square. So I want a reflex save from all of you. I would like Arles to be one and two. Oh, sorry, one. Arif, two. Nothing square, three. And Abdima, four. And I would like Joe to roll a d4, please. <gasps> That's no problem. Three. Three. <laughs> Not a d20, Point. a d4. There we go. Oh, that d4. Two. Two. Arif. <laughs> comes plumbing out of the sky on our healer. I, I, I know who's not getting healed anymore. Yep. And <laughs> Master Arif, what did you get for a reflex? Uh, 10 reflex. Oh, okay. Um... So my idea was the reflex beating Squeeze personal DC or his personal screw up, which well, is like 15. Yeah. So, hey, at least he's probably not going to roll a D6. I'm pretty sure Joe is going to stick with his D4 damage and roll a D4 as this thing plummets out of the sky on you. <laughs> damage, Joe. You hurt the old man. I hurt the old man. Right on his toe. Three plus four four points of damage <laughs> if this oh. thing falls on your foot seven 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 points comes down you lean back don't quite get the last foot away just impales your foot Boink. all right fucker hey at least you found it for him round 13 good this get any weirder Kane. how many fireballs have you got up your robe there buddy like uh i only have two and they're done yeah what? Yeah, yeah okay. they're done. So Doesn't what, mean I can't do other stuff. Well, this chick is showing you how the claw attack works. You've had several characters with claw attacks, but the vicious and the acid poop, it's its inspiring and yet terrifying, and you just can't look away, but what do you want to do now? Uh, I'm going to roll an intimidate check uh, to attempt to demoralize. Do you speak, Eagle? Uh, no, but I assume that she still understands common. Oh, yeah. According oh, yeah. to the description, yes. I okay. just want you to scream out caca. No. <laughs> Finally putting the connection together, are we boys? <laughs> in Canada, caca means poop. Sorry, uh, go ahead, Aiden. It's no okay. different in the America, I promise. I mean, I've never heard that before. Poop. Well, entire... you're not laughing. Well, then you're not in a good part of America. <laughs> you know what happens when I you start laughing? Bitch, I'm going to turn you into some goddamn chicken wings and eat you for lunch. Well, I check. well that was rude. Uh, 28 against her will save. Ooh. Like a will DC or? or uh, the... Against her uh, personal both... DC, right? Yeah, their DC. Which is... What, Jared? Like her level uh, plus her... What am I rolling? I don't think you roll. I think it's like a DC you that has to roll. hit. I've got to do quick... Mathematics. While he's know. doing math, because common is fun. Abdima, <laughs> tell us what you're doing uh, here on deck. Hold up, that was a single action. Oh, sorry. Okay. While he's so, the DC for her against skill checks for Will. Yeah, Will DC going to be 24. Okay, so I beat it. Not by it wasn't a critical, but it still was a success. So she becomes frightened one. Uh, frightened, frightened one. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Is that a mind effect? Uh, it's an intimidate effect. Uh, I don't know. Uh, well, Dima was calling it because I'm assuming instead of burning his own actions, he would want you all to burn yours so he can get in the cool strike. Uh, it's 
Auditory, concentrate, emotion, lingual, and mental. Okay, that's good then. That does not spell intimidate. Okay. It's not one of her immunities. Or it's it's under demoralize, but... Right. So how does this drop AC by two? Uh, Frightened one drops all checks, and armor check is considered a check in second ed. So her strikes go down, her AC goes down. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Starting to like this game a little bit more. Skill rolls go down, all sorts of fun stuff. For how long? Uh, so for frightened, uh, unless specified otherwise, at the end of each of your turns, the value of your frightened condition is decreased by one. All right, so so, there, so it's around, right. unless you, yeah. they can push it. So basically, uh, if anyone wants to hit this chick, you all need to be frightening, stack this effect, push her down to four or five if that's possible, and then the last person come riding in on, I don't know, a horse, and take <laughs> her head off. Is that what we're going for? I think so. Yeah, um, someone has to basically get a higher degree of success than what he did because it stacks but doesn't stack repeatedly. Concurrently, so it, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so someone would need to get a two or a we, four. so, but we can maintain it. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so Kane, got anything else? Yes, I do. I'm also going to cast the spell fear. Uh, You plant fear in the target with effects based on its will save. So DC 19, and if it fails, then it becomes frightened two. Or if it stacks and frightened three, I don't really know how the stacking works. Plus 14. Oof. Okay. So you're hitting its DC again, or are we getting Ashley to roll? Uh, She has to Ashley wanted to roll. Okay. Wait, is that factoring in the already frightened one? Yes. Okay. So what am I rolling? Plus 14 will save. 20 plus 14. And you're going to roll a one, if, if you don't mind. 18. Yeah, that's good enough. So yeah, I rolled a four. 19, so target becomes frightened too. Okay. And now you're done? That's all three of my actions. Nicely done, sir. Abdima, you are up. Marcel, you're on deck. Get ready. Abdima, you're on a horse. Okay. You're finding a bird. Has a reach of zero, so let's get right in your face. It's in your face. Hopefully it's done pooping. And clawed a bunch of you, and what do you got now? Um, well, I'm going to take a... Nope, I'm going to spend one action to cast True Strike. Okay. Take a swing. This time I do get to roll twice for attack roll. So 26, and the other one is... Is? A 22, so let's go with the 26. Right, that hits, I believe, barely, but it does hit. For 20 points of damage. Ooh. Bam. Birdie Bam. is is starting finally, finally to show a little bit of, ouch, just a bit, couple not much. To the ground. Got, got lots left. Note the health bar still chugging away there. I'm pretty good. Anything else, Mr. Abdima? Yeah, we'll go for... I'm not offering second. you free swings. I'm saying, are you out of actions? Yeah, no, I was deciding if I wanted oh, to do okay. that. Oh, Whoops. I thought you were just like, yeah, I'll take a free swing. Well, no, I'm not offering them. I'm asking. 10. Yeah, 10. Which is 16 below. Which is... It's not 16 below. It's 14 below. 26 now. Uh, oh, no, 20, it's 23. 23 now. Oh, three. right, because of all that, so uh, yeah. Fear and... Uh, been intimidated and they both stack so okay two separate conditions okay well ignoring the ding fries are done because somebody didn't mute their phone uh that's good but still less than 10 right still critical yes yeah true so nitpicking aside (sighs) we've dropped weapons we've had them fly through the air Hmm. I think 
you go back and like you said, not really good on the horsey horsey. You actually sort of, I wouldn't say you like cut the horse, but while drawing this big weapon and swinging around, you kind of like, you know, the horse moves its head and you bash it. So I would like a nature check from you immediately because the horse bucks and gets upset. Now we could argue train mount, but you really, really hit it with this terrible, terrible crit. 20. Very nice. I'll shut up now. You got anything else left? Nope, that was three. Okay, Marisol. Right. Um, I'm going to move. Okay. You're not picking up your sap? Nope. No? Not going to spend a force point? I just love burning player actions. It's not going to make a perception check. a force check. point? Never mind. I just like, you know. I like. crazy god. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, flanking with the Dima. Okay. And uh, I'm going to attack at my full bonus with said rapier. Yes. Choppity choppity. Oh, 19. No. And uh, well, how, uh, I'm scared, but I'm not scared of you. Really? Uh, uh, how many actions is it to intimidate? Why isn't your screen clearing? Why are we? Why is, why is the board like completely full of movement? It's one. I don't know. Huh? Doesn't show it on mine. It's one action, so I will take my last action to attempt to bend it. Oh, there we go. Sorry, your last action is what? I'm going to attempt to intimidate. All right. Oh, natural one. I'm like, go, bird, kill my friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You bolster its resolve. Oh, on a critical failure, you cannot attempt to, de to demoralize the target again for 10 minutes. There you okay. go. Okay. I thought you were going to, like, help me up a notch or something because that was so horrible, but that, that works. Yeah. You just feel bad and it's just, I'm not listening to you. Okay. Marcel, you got anything left? You're done? Like, oh. you're a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Arles, you're up. Arif, you're on deck. Arles. Okay, I'd like to advance on the uh, acid uh, bird. Acid pooping bird? Yeah, I didn't want to say it, but... Well, because it doesn't feel like normal acid. It feels more slashy. Slash it. Yeah. it it's true. I yeah. don't know why it's true, but it's true. So, it's, yeah, it's uncommon. I'm just nerved by it. So, I want to make a small adjustment and take two swipes. Okay. Swipe with one. 27. Yes. Swipe with two. 21. No. Nay. Nay, I say. So, the first swipe is 14 damage. Yeah, I see the natural one you rolled there. <laughs> <laughs> so he yeah. finally hits and then the damage goes no minimum damage but hey you know what damage is damage and we just you gotta yep. you gotta take the the sour that's with the you, sweet that's how you take a tree down yeah one little chop at a time health bar goes down anything else sir no that's all Arif. here I'm gonna spend one chevron oh sorry Arif, one uh Jared you're running away screaming below 25. That's not an interrupt action, is it? No, it's just what she does on her next action. She does on her next action. Getting yes. back to Arif, make it good, boys. The murderer is going to flee. So spending one chevron, get the uh, weapon of force to move up and attack the uh, elemental. Oh, the elemental, yes. Yeah, because it's locked on it. So 12 misses. Yep. What is our elemental ACL? I'll let you spit that out there so you have your hopes can be dashed. Oh, I, I have no hope. Jared? Jared? Yes. Jared. Water elemental. Yes. AC. Water elemental. Jared. Pay attention, AC. class. Fry. What are we doing with water elemental? Stating What's, it's AC. It's AC. Uh, 
its AC is 18. So that's a 12 no and a 16 no. Yep. Nope. The uh, 16 is a spell. Ooh. That is a ray of fire range touch attack on the bird. So does a 16 touch. Ooh. No. No? Okay. Cool. Very cool. But no. Her touch is equal to her AC. All right. I hate this bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Water elemental. Natural one. Crap. I Ships lose the re- I lose the rest of my actions. I lose myself in myself. I see fire and he freezes. <gasps> That's fire. I don't take the rest of my attacks. Oh. Squee. Ah, uh, yes, I will uh, retrieve my pick. <laughs> Where is it? Where'd you leave that? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> you need to get adjacent, so that would put you here next to Arif where it landed. Uh, and that's all. Now, you can still move through friendlies for free for this, right? I know, but then I can't really Yes. Finish. Okay. So if you move here as a guarded step or like as a move action, right? Pick up as a second. You got one left, so you can put yourself in position here for next round or... Do you have any ranged weapons? The big fat yeah. paladin's in the way. <laughs> yeah, no. Climb the paladin. I don't know. What do you yeah, want? <laughs> yeah, jump on the paladin's back. Wee. Yeah, I'll okay. go with it. I'll go with it. Okay, so we're surrounding this. Now, you guys have been flanking this bird. Have you remembered your flanking bonuses? Nope, I haven't oh. remembered mine. Because some of those were getting pretty close with those 20-ish. You know? Yeah, I rolled a 22. I'm pretty sure I would have hit. Uh, what am but I down I... to? Did I get some of my scared back? I'm down to 23, right, Jared? You're... My current scared AC. Beginning of her turn, so it's yeah, AC is twenty-three. Okay, I'll let you have that retroactive damage there. uh, No, it wasn't. Not twenty-two, twenty-four. Okay, so we're okay. We're fine. Well, wait. What's the bonus for flanking? It's just two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't there? Didn't help anybody. Okay. So Squee did so little dancing. I rolled one more. Move and a grab and a move. And when he's done, yeah. Nagasi. Yes. Does a withdraw action. Please tell me they're still in the game and bails or does the next phase. I enter my next yeah, final she's transformation. Going to, she's going to move into the over top of the uh, endangered terrain, then move 40 feet, change back to Nagasi and chug a greater healing potion. Oh, okay. So can you ping where she goes? Yes. I'll be nice and not even let you guys make perception checks. You all see her. Go the hell out of here. Ping for me, buddy. Just hold down the button. Now, does that provoke an oper- an attack of opportunity? No, because I want to withdraw. Like, I want to... Oh, okay. I don't know. What did, what did it have her scripted to do? Be That's foolish what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. So she uses one action to do a um, stride. Right. Or the aerial version of a stride and so, then moves for full distance changes back chugs a potion okay then yes you get a tag of opportunity for those willing because stride is not a guarded step right that is correct, correct. so take it if you got them that would be abdima and definitely abdima on a horse it's up there birdie level squee will just be nice it's getting away again twenty four uh, that'll hit that'll hit yeah Squee? Uh, an 11 would miss. <laughs> <laughs> Paladin's in the way. Never work with these people again, oh, telling man. you. Oh, they're working this down again. All right. Come on. Bastard sword, two handed Abdema. What do you got? 14 damage. 14 points. I have more than 14 points. I well technically now I have less but I don't even think that's a technicality but I'm about <laughs> to try the potion well hang on we haven't got to that part yet I hit, I took that hit flying away did I squeak in an attack of opportunity yeah he took it and missed, missed. Oh, okay so I fly away Jared ping me where I go 
Just hold down that, your clicking. That's oh. what I'm doing. I'm holding down. I'm I'm getting a little circle. I'm not seeing a little circle. That's the, uh, the firewall. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's at the firewall. Okay. Uh, that's more than forty feet away. He has a movement of fifty. That's sixty-five feet away. That's her second move, though. She moves ten out and then does a full move action. Right. Okay. And the third one she has four actions. So I'm gonna sit in my own fire, or just go to it. No, the firewall actually ends this turn. So. Okay. So I get here, and can I pull out a potion and drink it as a single chevron? That's what it says. Okay. Well, we'll stick with the script since I did a stupid move of not withdrawing. We'll give her the good part at the end, the smart part where I go glug, glug, glug. Yay for me. And what do I get back? Ashley, Jared, roll. I mean, Ashley. Roll 4d8. <laughs> oh, wow. And, and how many? 4d8. 4d8 plus 16. Boys, I was being nice. I was down to 26 and I had her flee anyway. You got me down to 11. And now, you know what's going to happen now? She's going to roll. I'm going to get I'm going to be up to 44 hit points. And we are going to enter round 14 and see you next time because we are way into overtime in an hour and a half. I gave you guys a half, an extra half hour to beat me down, but I am the unstoppable caca bird. We'll see you next time. Say goodnight, everybody. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night. Everybody. Good night.